August ETF liquidation signal epic gains ahead. Hey guys, I am Luke Downey going over our latest insights at mapsignals.com. We've got some incredible data to share with you today and it is bad news for the bear. So listen, it isn't often that people rush for the exits all at once, but that's what happened in early August. We're going to show you why that's very bullish. But first, it's always good to remember the phases of the market. And we're talking about money flow. So phase one is when you get a lot of buying and a little bit of selling. Think about FOMO, where most people can't imagine stocks going down. Then you get to phase two, which is when all that buying starts to peter out, selling starts to pick up. That's usually a top. That's your local peak. And then number three, we see that buying slows even further. Selling starts to pick up. Maybe we're down a few days in a row. That's when the pullback has begun. And then you get to stage four, which is pretty rare. Buying is gone. Sellers are in control. This is when you hear the scary headlines, recessions. You look on TV, they start marching out all the people who are telling you bread lines are coming. Remember all that stuff happens all the time. That's when you want to be buying stocks. That's exactly what happened in early August. So let me show you an awesome, awesome chart. We saw on August 5th, that was that big market crash over 140 ETFs were sold in a day. So listen, every major equity ETF just about was being sold. People were panicked. People were worried. But here is why understanding data cuts through the noise. You can look at prior times. So these red bars here, these are telling you the extreme days when there was a lot of selling, we call that forced selling, that's capitulation. I've got them all numbered here. And why this is important is whenever you see data like this, the day after this huge sell-off, you can look back in history and say, wow, we've seen similar. I wonder what happens next. Well, don't let your eyes you know, do all the work for you. Let's go and see how the data shakes out. Here is what is so important and why we're always looking for the opportunity and boy did it come here's what happens when you go back to 2010 and we've had days where 125 etfs are sold it's only happened 30 times this is pretty rare stuff over the past 15 years but check this out three months later the s p is up 10.4 percent the nasdaq is up 12.8 if you can believe this, six months later, the S&P is up 14.8%. The NASDAQ is up 20%. Another year, go out one year, excuse me, 25.8% for the S&P, 36.8% for the NASDAQ. And then two years out, 100% is the win probability. Looking historically, S&P is up 48.7%. The NASDAQ is up 70 1.3%. So when you put all of this together, you don't need this huge narrative, but when everybody is selling all at once in unison, you probably want to be buying stocks. And that's exactly what we were telling people Monday during the crash. While everyone else was running for the exits, we were telling people, here are the stocks you want to be likely leaning into. And that is how you win in the markets. You guys have a great one. Remember, think long-term. That's how you can retire wealthy.